Hey everybody, so today I have the Winter 2.1 quart ice cream maker. This one is stainless steel. This one also has the compressor built into it. I've been wanting to get one for a really long time. I finally ordered this one and then it's just been sitting in my corner for like the last two weeks while I've been trying to get around to it. But anyway, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So inside we do have our user manuals. You do get this little scooper. Not sure how well that will work. Lots of foam to play with. It doesn't match a single appliance in my kitchen pretty much, except for my toaster, and that stays in a drawer. But dang it, I like stainless steel. All right, so it's definitely really nice. It is fairly heavy because it has the, the uh, compressor built into it. Now, Winter is a pretty good brand. It's the same brand as my stand-up freezer in the garage. And I, I just really like them. They work great. No issues with them on any of the stuff that I've ever bought of theirs. And, uh, but let's show a little bit more of the actual machine here. So on the top, you're going to have your bowl for your ice cream. Just pull that right out. It does have the churner in there as well. But what's great about this being a compressor built in, you don't have to take the bowl and throw it in the freezer, or you don't have to use one of those where it spins around a, a bunch of ice. Now, of course, some of those old machines are still kind of fun to do with the family. That's what I grew up with. But, uh, you know, this is nice for when you don't want to have to deal with that. And my freezer never really has enough space to put bowls in there. All right, so I plugged it in, so I kind of show you a little bit here. You got your power button, everything lights up. And there's... There's some different modes here. So you got ice cream, you got cooling only, and you got mixing only. You can also adjust your time. Maximum time is one hour. You got your menu button, which will let you change between the different modes. And then of course you can just press the start or the pause, and that will automatically start the timer, and it will automatically start everything. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because I don't wanna run it with anything in there, but just to give you an idea of that. All right, so I'm gonna be making a super simple vanilla ice cream. And uh, I forgot to get vanilla beans, so we'll just use a regular vanilla extract. I like Watkins. This is gonna be without egg yolks, so it's gonna be less custardy. I have a couple cups of heavy cream. I have about just a little over a cup of whole milk. Also, I recommend using whole milk when you're making homemade ice cream. If you use a lower fat milk, that's why it will be a little bit icier. We're also gonna do almost a cup of sugar. Now, this is actually a Truvia blend, so it's just a little bit healthier. The vanilla will do last. Now, what we need to do is just bring this up to enough of a, a temperature just to melt the sugar. We don't wanna boil it or anything like that. And if you're in a hurry, I mean, you can make it without doing this, but you're gonna be, it's gonna be a little grainier. So I always recommend to at least get the sugar melted and then put this in the fridge for about a half hour or so and then throw it in the machine. All right, now that we've warmed it up just enough to get everything dissolved, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the vanilla. And I'm gonna use one tablespoon for this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. Give that a nice stir. Ah, uh, it smells so good. I love the smell of vanilla. And then what we wanna do is we wanna throw this in the fridge just to bring it down to the temperature a little bit because we don't wanna really wanna put a hot liquid into the ice cream machine. Okay, so now I have it uh, somewhat chilled. It's not cold. Uh, I'm not patient enough for that. I just wanted to kind of bring the heat down a little bit just because it was up there a bit. And now it's just at a warm state. So we're gonna put our cream in here. And what's nice is that uh, you could also add in other things as well. So like halfway through or in 10 minutes or so, we could always throw in some like chopped up Oreos or some nuts or uh, just other toppings that you would like to throw in there. But this one is gonna be just the vanilla. 
lock down your lid and let's go ahead and power it on. We're gonna do the ice cream. So let's go ahead and start that. It's gonna automatically be spinning and it's gonna start chilling. So we'll go ahead and let it go for a while. I also forgot to mention there is a little door here where you can drop your ingredients in while it's mixing. We are done here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And depending on how thick you want yours, you can let it run a little bit longer. I like mine to be more of like a soft serve. But there you go. If you're looking for a really easy to use ice cream maker, this one works great. You don't have to freeze the bowl or anything.